The breaking that we have for you right now on India today is that the Chandrayaan landing is now on schedule. Everything is running to plan, no delays. Chandrayaan's Vikram lander will land on the moon today as scheduled. There will be no postponement. The landing sequence begins at 5.20 p.m. and by 6.04 p.m., that's 18.04 hours, is when Vikram is expected to land successfully on the moon's south pole, making India the first country in history to land at the moon's south pole. Never before has any spacecraft, crewed or uncrewed, landed at the moon's south pole. We can confirm now that the landing sequence begins at 5.20 p.m. That's when live telemetric data will begin to be streamed uh, at the ISRO command center in Bengaluru, where India today is reporting from. There will be no postponement. Chandrayaan is going through with plan A, 5.20 p.m., which means exactly one hour from now. The one-hour countdown has now begun, viewer. One hour to go for that final landing sequence to kick in. Very, very happy to tell you that Team Chandrayaan is fully confident and pushing ahead without any prospect of a postponement. Everything is in line. The ducks are all in a row. The situation has aligned itself. Uh, all, uh, all circumstances are totally optimal now for Team Chandrayaan 3 to go ahead and execute a picture-perfect soft landing on the surface of the South Pole of the Moon. You can watch that entire landing sequence through telemetric data and images uh, uh, that will be beamed live from the Vikram lander once they're released by ISRO. Here on India Today, you'll never miss it because we're not going to take any breaks now between now and the landing. I want to go across to Akshita. Super news, Akshita. No postponements being deemed necessary, like you said. Locked and loaded. One hour to go for the landing sequence to be initiated. We're waiting now with bated breath for those first pieces of data to come live streaming down back from Vikram. I'm personally very, very happy that it's not delayed, Shiva. I couldn't have handled the wait, honestly, because we've been counting down to this day for so many weeks now, for the last 40 days since the launch. August 23rd has been our date with the moon. And ISRO has confirmed right now that they're sticking to this date. Uh, you can see also in the pamphlet with me, they've given great details of exactly what the landing will look like, what time it's expected. So all along, this has been their plan. This has been their mission, that August 23rd, this evening, by six o'clock, we will have our footprint on the moon, courtesy lander Vikram, an indelible mark of India on a part of the moon that nobody's touched so far. Obviously, there were a lot of questions about what kind of conditions would be there, you know, with regards to the lunar dust or also to ensure that the weather conditions atmospherically, also everything is sorted. Our forecast seems to be a bang on that this is the right time to have done it, which is why ISRO has stuck to their guns. They say we're going to go ahead with our schedule. The reason we're saying that now Plan B isn't going to come into effect, Shiv, is because ISRO had confirmed to us yesterday, and when we'd spoken uh, to the top ISRO official yesterday, he had very clearly told us that if there's going to be any change, God forbid, if it was going to be pushed from today to Sunday, it would be done three hours before the landing time. So it would have been announced by 1 or 2 p.m., and that is exactly the time. Just stay with me for a moment. K. Sivan, former ISRO chief, is with me on the phone line. Uh, Sivanji, thank you very much, sir, for speaking to India today. We very much value your words and your wisdom on a day like this. One hour to go for the execution of that touchdown on the moon surface, sir. What's going through your mind? What are your sentiments right now, sir? Uh, we have done our job and uh, everything is in line so that we are waiting anxiously for the moment to occur. What will the atmosphere be like right now in the command center, sir? You've been there many times over many programs. Describe for us the kind of emotions. All of us are looking uh, with the anxiety. Everybody is uh, this one. When will, the, when will the information start to come from the Vikram lander, sir? Will it be around 5.20 p.m.? Yes, yes, yes. That is where it will come from that time on. The, the, you know, sir, everyone is talking about those 15 minutes of terror, of unpredictability, you know, when the turning happens and the descent sequence is initiated. 
What is that like for scientists, sir? What is that like? What do they experience when they have to go through that from the command center? No, but, uh, one thing that the uh, command is uh, executed is everything is automated. So we have to wait uh, and watch what really happening. Okay. And everyone is confident, sir. You've spoken, of course, to many of them, uh, members of uh, Chandrayaan 2 and 3. Everyone is confident that in less than an hour from now, things are going to go exactly as planned. How are you feeling about it? I am also feeling that it, it will go as planned, exactly as planned. M many learnings from Chandrayaan 2, which was, you know, mostly successful, sir, also feeding into this particular program. In many ways, the Chandrayaan 3 is benefiting from the work that you did at ISRO as well. Yes, sir, definitely that uh, it is a, it really benefited from Chandrayaan 2 data. That way, it is a, the system got improved. That mm. way, the Sandman 2 also contributed for this mission. Final words from you, sir, before we get into that final descent phase now. Your words of, your blessings, your words for the young scientists who are listening right now. They all, you know, regard you very well. They look up to you as one of the legends of Indian space programs. What would you like to say to them, sir? So, you know, everything we have done to our uh, humanly possible, so, uh, till now, things happen as per uh, plan, and uh, I am not expecting anything uh, uh, further uh, new development now onwards. So, we are expecting that we are going to get a very good planning this time. Your words mean, uh, mean a great deal to the scientists, to the team, and to the public at large, because uh, we bestow people like you and entrust you with the safety of our programs, and you've done an amazing job. So thank you very much, Sivan, sir, for joining us here on India Today. Very, very important for us to be able to hear from legends like you, that too right before India creates history on the moon.